Also making news tonight, a deadly Rogers Park fire has been ruled arson. Police have not yet arrested a suspect, but they say they know who they're looking for. In the meantime, neighbors are stepping in to help those who lost everything in that fire. CBS 2's Audrina Vegas live in Rogers Park for us tonight. Audrina. Rob, you can see behind me this building is boarded up now and police are calling this an arson. But how someone started this fire, that is still under investigation. As you said, police have identified a person of interest, but no one is in custody. A neighbor captured this video on their cell phone about 50 feet from the flames that tore through this Rogers Park apartment building. Later, another neighbor a little further away caught this video of smoke billowing from the roof as firefighters worked to control the blaze in this 15 unit building. This was intentional. This was intentional. Somebody intentionally did this. It's very hurtful and there's so many families and a woman that lost her life. The Chicago Fire Department says the fire started around 520 this morning on the back porches of the four story building near Clark and Tuohy. Firefighters say the flames quickly spread to the inside. That's when officials say 51 year old Maria Silva jumped from her top floor window and later died. <laughs> Silva's daughter and family sobbing at the scene. Maria Rio says she tried to talk Silva out of jumping. I, I see her in the window and I say, don't do it, don't do it, but she fell down. Was this a man's clothes in here? Tonight, the community is stuffing up to help, bringing bags of clothes, toiletries, and food to help more than 20 people who are now homeless. Through this horrible tragedy, what's amazing is how neighbors stuck together and helped each other. People inside tell me that one woman went door to door, knocking and screaming, trying to get people out of the building. Fortunately, many got out safely. One person is being treated at the hospital. We're live in Rogers Park tonight. Audrina Vegas, CBS 2 News. Rob. Okay, Audrina, thank you.